Oh, you got a green bur- you got a green Barrett, Ryan. A green Barrett. A green Barrett. A grin and Barrett. A grin and Barrett. <laughs> Oh, oh Corby. Anyway, get out of hell is that uh, yeah, Saints Row game where it's um, <laughs> not in a city. It's well, it's really? in a city, Are but you the, in hell? C- the city's hell. Yeah, <laughs> you're in a city, but the city's hell. Okay. Yeah. And so it's kind of <laughs> hilarious. You can fly. You can do all kinds of stupid shit. You have superpowers and stuff, and cool. it's just like GTA, but like you know the dumbest and that most sounds ridiculous. Nice. It's fun. It's also just like. They cram so much shit into a tiny little place that, like, I don't know, you just end up doing all kinds of stuff all the time. Do you get to fight demons? Demons of all kinds and varieties. Oh, that's so cool. You... Are there skeletons? There's definitely skeletons. Nice. There's imps. Nice. Gotta love a good imp. All the guns are, like, hell-themed, so, like, instead of, like, an, an, a rifle, it's, uh-huh. like, a stake thrower, like, an automatic <laughs> stake thrower. <laughs> That's so stuff. cool. It's pretty great. There was another game that had a stake thrower. Um, was it... Uh, Painkiller has pain a... Painkiller? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Painkiller has a great stake thrower because it has, like, physics and stuff, so... Pain thrower or pain thrower? Painkiller was so cool. Painkiller was great. I, I like all those weird... Turn of the... Turn of the morning... You know what I'm saying. Serious Sam. There's there's something about Painkiller. It gets, like, weirdly silent when you're just, like... When the mm. fights are over and you're just hunting around on, on secrets and stuff. Uh-huh. Like, there's something really disconcerting and creepy about how silent yeah. the landscapes get. I like that. A girl named Rachel used to live in that house. Now it's deserted. Hmm. Uh, I'm assuming it's the burned out one. Elixir. Elixir clock. It's elixir o'clock. Clock elixir. This uh, house is just like nothing? Besides an elixir? Yeah, will you get an elixir? I mean, sure. You can have a nice sit at this table. No one to talk Sleep to. Sleep in one of the two beds. Wait, so... Enjoy the modest furnishings? House? Oh, this one right here. Yeah, yeah. Can you go inside it? We didn't try last I time. I don't think we I did. We talked to this, mm. the boy. Hmm. There's nothing to go into, I guess. Yeah, it's just... Burned out foundation. A husk and a wreck. Yeah. Maybe okay. maybe the the, the scoured out trees are meant to imply that something happened there, which would also maybe connect to why there's a dead body in the house. Something happened to her. I suspect the herb man is trying to raise her from the dead, so, or like preserving her body or something. Yeah, he's doing something. That's so strange. Yeah. Okay. So I guess we need Locke. I mean, we can go on with it, but we could go get him if you want to. Well, I don't know where else to go. South to Jador. Oh. But, I mean... Because you're, you're following Terra. But I feel like we need to get Locke, right? I don't... I think it's, like, optional. But, like, I, I want to get Locke. If you want to. Got to talk to Engine Man. Yeah, it'll just be a quick little detour. I'm worried we might lose Shadow, too. But probably not, right? No, I don't think so. Let's just save before we do it. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll just save when I'm on the world map again. So you're never going to believe what I did. What did you do? This past week. Somehow, amidst my sickness, I managed to watch films. For the first time this whole year, I watched like seven movies th- up through this this point in the year, right? And now, I have watched like eight. Twenty-one total. Do you want to hear what I watched? I know you do. Tell me all about it. I've watched the original Lethal Weapon. <laughs> How was that? With Danny Glover and mulleted uh, Mel Gibson? Yeah. Splendid. In a sort of way. Yeah, uh, in a sort of way. I watched I watched Deliverance. Oh, man. For the first time. That's an intense, sick sick watch. Yeah, it really was. Um, I watched Phenomena, which is one of um, Dario Argento's 80s movies that features <laughs> Jennifer Connelly as a, as a psychic young girl... Right. Who sleepwalks when murders happen, and she can control insects. Right. All, oh, you told me about that. Okay. Yeah, I started watching it before. Oh. It also features Donald Pleasance with a, a living monkey nurse. I'm sorry? A living monkey nurse. As opposed to a dead monkey nurse? Like like an actual live monkey on screen. Oh, I see. There's a monkey. Um, I'm going the wrong way. And, and at one point, the monkey wields a razor blade in the oh, film no. at a crucial moment. Um... It's is it's so it's so whacked out and gorgeous that movie. 
<coughs> so that was good. I watched the church. Wait, what? <laughs> my job here's over. My job here's over. I've earned my fee. What? You just literally killed a rabbit. Does he always have a chance of leaving randomly? Ta-ta. Fuck you. Okay, maybe it's because we went back. Do you the think? King, well, no, it was just a random fight. It wasn't a, a plot event. But I think we need to go back and get him again. Another Hold 3K? Hold on, let me see what happens if you leave Shadow. What happens? What Hacienda? Nope. What happens if Shadow leaves your party? I gotta go. Ta ta. <laughs> Oh, hold on. There's something we can do. What can we do? I think you can run from the fight. Hold on. While he's trying to... Hey, Shadow, join my party. Hmm. Oh, shit. So, okay. So he has a one in sixteen chance of leaving your party. I don't. I think oh, we so need we to go back and get him. Yeah, but I think. Yeah, but I think. Um, well, should I load them? Yeah, I think you should load. Because otherwise, I don't think you can get him back again for a while. All right, I don't. I have to like reset the game. Hang on. Yeah, I'm trying to find it, but I think that's going to be the case. Okay, he'll take you to the Zozo. So. I think you might be able to run from the fight if he tries to leave. Okay, I'll give that a shot next time. I don't know if that will work, like with the way the menus pop up and everything with his dialogue, but maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to luck here. That was just disappointing. It was so sad after all we paid. I mean, how much does Protector eat? Is that his dog's name? Protector? Am I remembering that right? Interceptor. Uh, is that his it, name? Isn't it his move? Yeah. Maybe that's just what I was calling him. I'm calling his dog Protector from now on. Okay. I don't have magic for curing blindness. That sucks. Yeah, whatever. Oh, wait. Blindness doesn't matter in this game. Does it? Right. I mean, if you want to be nice to your characters, it does. Mm. Pass. Hard pass. So I watched the original Django film. I didn't, okay. I don't know anything about Django or Django Unchained. Did you see Django Unchained? Nope. Oh. Well, okay. What? How was that not right? I thought it might be in your... It's Brighton Wheelhouse. Ah. Shit. <clears throat> God damn it, Shadow. Fuck off, Shadow. That was the second fight again. I mean, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe it doesn't matter? Hold on. Uh, maybe you just need to get him? I'm not sure. Maybe he doesn't need to stay with you in order... Did they say in the thread what needs to happen? It just was sounding like we wanted to get Shadow. So. Another thing I've been doing. Mm -hmm. Game ways. What the heck is that? Uh, I just mean game, like, in the vein of games. Oh, game wise. Game ways. Game wise. I was um, just restating for myself. Please continue. I have been testing characters for Final Fantasy XIV. Ooh. To determine ears are perking up. What? I said ears are perking up. To determine what I think will be most entertaining for starting class and starting city. Um, I do think I, I don't. I, I just I don't want to play. Uh, 11 it's just it sucks and I don't like it <laughs> yeah. so I mean kind of just think I'm gonna go to 14 because 14 is a fun and good game and I would like to play that <laughs> um, that's fair and like we've seen we've seen 11 yeah I think we well it's, I mean it's a horrible like you know, primordial nightmare <laughs> MMO world like primordial nightmare is a great way to describe it honestly <laughs> so Anyway, if you have any input on that, uh, feel free to, you know, shout at me about it. Yeah. If, if you have a starting city you like best, or a starting class you like best, 
don't worry, I understand that anyone can be anything eventually. I'm just trying to think of what, like, class storyline is the most interesting to start with and what abilities are less boring. Yeah, that makes sense. So... The first character I actually played with in that game was an Arcanist, and while Arcanist was good and strong and good for solo play, because you get pets, it was not, like, the most fascinating thing to watch ever, because it was just, like, slapping dots on shit, always, nonstop, forever. Oh. Oh, shit. Fuck. Me. Maybe he just is supposed to leave. Was I supposed to, like tear his clothes off so that I could keep his shit. Um, that I don't know. I'm literally trying to find anything about it and I can't find it. I've worn out my welcome. I can't I find like a she... shadow FAQ or anything. Okay. I Fuck shadow. I'm done with that garbage. Okay. We might have missed something good, but who knows? Like, whatever. I know there's like stuff later We've on, but it might not even so be relevant. so many good things. Like... Oh, I know. Alright, block. Come here. All right, put him in the party. That's what we came here for in the first place. It is. I think I still want to keep Edgar and Sabine though, because they're just the like fucking strongest characters. Yeah. Time. And like really we were doing good. fine with the three, and so that means Locke can oh, just yeah. steal all the time. That's true. That's kind of what people were saying. I think that was like the well, impression. Well, everyone has always said steal more. I never steal enough. Well, it sounds like like they were saying like at a certain point your party is so strong that you're just kind of like. Bam, 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 and like maybe if Locke gets a steal in. Okay. <laughs> kind of yeah. something like that, you know? I got it. Gosh, we'll darn it now. <sighs> Whatever. Can't find it. This information. Also, his is name is Interceptor, is the dog. It is? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was his move. I knew I was. You were supposed to take his stuff. Alright, well, whatever. Okay, he, he leaves you at the end of Zozo anyway, which is coming up, so I think... I guess they just figured if you're going back to town, they don't want you to be able to bank him. I guess so. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Maybe we're not at a point either where we can lose him, so... Permanently, you know? I think people were implying that we're not going to get him back for a while. Yeah, yeah, you don't get him, I think, for a while, but... There's a point, like, halfway through the game when you can lose him permanently and you can miss out on his storyline. Oh. That's what I was trying to, like, work through. Well, I don't I don't think we triggered that. I don't think so either. I think it's too early for that. Lots of requests lately. Anyway, I'm surprised you didn't, you've never seen Django Unchained since you seem to, like... It's you in like my, I think it's Man. in my queue in Netflix, but there's mm. actually quite a few Tarantino movies I've not seen. Such as? Uh, Reservoir Dogs. Oh, yeah, that's fair. Um, I don't know. I know the staples. I, I, I've i seen the Kill Bill movies. I've seen Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Um, what else? What else is there? Uh, Death Proof. Death... Mm. Well, yeah, yeah. Death Proof uh, and uh, Inglorious Bastards. Bastards. Yeah. Mm. That new one I haven't seen either. Hopefully. No, I have not seen that. other Western. Um, Did not really care about that. Anyway, the whole point was that Django... Did I ever tell you about that? Django is like... It was, I think, 1966. And it... It's dope. It's about this, like... Um, like... Jacket hat clad... I'll tell you in a second. Oh, is that you, Locke? It's been a while. Uh, oh, that? Worry not, your treasure's quite safe. <laughs> oh. Are we through here? All done, finished? <laughs> and use some herbs to put her into suspended animation. She won't age a day. <laughs> That's what you wanted, right? Had to use my herbs, I did. <laughs> Oh, oh. contact. Right. Okay, Rachel. You mean those herbs have actually saved her? Of course, the love of your life will sleep here like this forever. <laughs>
Oh, sorry. If you could call her back, then she can come back. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find something that'll bring her around. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. The creep. Whoa. I failed her. I can't remember what we ended up with. Kind of higher pitched okay. here. Look. More high pitched. Oh, that was weird. It was just a soundless memory. Yeah. That okay. All right. So she is being held in suspended animation. And Soundless her. seems to have some sort of connection to it. Yes. I would not be surprised if like the Empire attacked here or something, and that's probably why. What something happened to her, and maybe why Locke got involved with the Returners. Oh, uh, okay. Ayo. His motivation. Yeah. Oh wait, what? It's just oh, okay. I'm a fucking idiot. Don't worry about me. Anyway, yeah. Django. Django. The, the scene. Oh, well, that kind of spoils Django. Spoilers for Django, I guess, if you haven't seen it in the last like fifty years. Um, the opening scene is to the theme song Django, and it's actually Tarantino just completely wholesale lifted the theme song for Django Unchained. Like, just bar like took the same theme song from the Django film. Like, well, well, doesn't that make sense? Is it not a sequel? Not really. See, the thing, like... I, I mean, I didn't even really know that there was a Django movie. So I figured that name has got to be so specific that it's, like, intentional. Sort of, sort of not. So, so Corbucci, the director, he made one official sequel to Django. Mm -hmm. and But it was so popular that people started using the name... There's like, I think, 30-some films that's, that borrowed the Django name that had what? nothing to do with the original what? movie. A lot of times it didn't even have a character called Django in the movie. Like, it was like a marketing cash-in. The same th it happened with a lot of Italian movies. I've never heard of Django. I'm, I'm just surprised yeah. that there's this, like, you know... It was mostly, like, use of 70s, it. 80s, like, 60s, 70s. Right. Maybe in the 80s. Um, but it's kind of like... Uh, there's, like, weird, other weird examples of that happening. Uh, Zombie is a good one when Dawn of the Dead was right. released in Europe. It's called Zombie, and there's like a bajillion zombie sequels that have nothing to do with. They would just like brand them in other countries because they, you know, for marketing right. cachet. Um, which I find really fascinating because they form these like constellations of films. Um, but anyway, so that's kind of cool. So it's like, it's not like Tarantino made like a actual sequel so much as he kind of like made another one of those. Inspiration slash cash in movies, you know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, we're fighting Iron Fist and Mind Candy. Mm, I could use some Mind Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't we all? Obviously, Iron Fist is the bug, and Mind Candy is this. <laughs> these sexy yeah, boys. Yeah, <laughs> those boys are some Mind Candy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, Django himself, he drags a coffin around behind him, and like, it, yeah, so if you, did you ever watch Trigon? Yeah, I was just gonna say, isn't that yeah. Trigon? <laughs> yeah, uh, Wolfwood is yeah. kind of a, is, is it totally like, inspired by Django? Oh, wow, Django, okay. and cause you don't find out until maybe, I don't know, a third of the way into the movie that the coffin actually contains like a chain gun. Right. So like, yeah, um, I don't know, it's just really fascinating. It was a really cool movie. It was kind of one of the important spaghetti westerns, like next to like um, a fistful of dollars, which had Clint Eastwood for the first time. I got you. <laughs> if you were looking for me to fill in that blank, nope, <laughs> nope no chance. <laughs> anyway, I watched that, and then I watched one of the sequels called Django Kill. If you live, shoot. That has a completely different actor named Thomas Milan. That is a long title. It is. So in the classic Italian vein, I think actually some of the Jalo movies are like that, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, like like the bird with the crystal plumage. Four, four flies on gray velvet. Cat of nine tails. Okay. The Red Queen kills at midnight. That one's long. Five doll, five, five, I think it's five dolls oh, for an August Oh, we discovered movie. a new Blitz, baby. Woo! I gotta try it out. Hatchet for the honeymoon. 
<laughs> it's become like a thing. Oh, it's a half circle. Oh. Fire attack slams enemies. That sounds um, That sounds really cool. All right. Um, also, need to heal. Has she been getting her MP drained or something? Why does she have so little MP? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I'll live, I guess. Ryan, would you like to hear some other fantastic Jalo titles? Oh, please. The Strange Color of Your Body's Tears. That's a new one. <laughs> Death Laid an Egg. <laughs> Seven Deaths in the Cat's Eye. Short Night of the Glass Dolls. The House with Laughing Windows. This is one of my favorites. Your vice is a locked room, and only I have the key. What? Oh, fire dance. Here we go, baby. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes! Fuck yeah. Oh, my God, that's so cool. That one is I think cool as shit. This is exactly what people were saying about... Uh, that was that was really cool. So I cool. like that a lot. I got more for you. I wonder if they're more... I wonder if they're less verbose in Italian. I think they sometimes are actually... It, it can go either way. They're not always. Mm. Um, like, uh, there's a there's an Italian movie that the... I think the original title is Twitch of the Death Nerve that just became Bay of Blood. Bay? Bay of Blood, okay. yeah. Um, there's another one called Torso, <laughs> and that's the English, which I don't like. Um... But the, the I think the actual title of the movie is something way cooler. Welcome to Jador. Yay! Oh, yeah, the original Italian title. This is Jador, the westernmost town on the world map. <laughs> Presuming the map is <laughs> one, yeah. one linear expanse with a definite endpoint. <laughs> flat, flat Earth theory. The, the Italian title is The Bodies Bear Traces of Carnal Violence. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, all the colors of the dark. Anyway. That's a cool title. Yeah, some of them are really, really cool. All the Colors of the Dark sounds like a young adult fiction novel. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it's actually a giallo with like a satanic cult mm. at the center of it. It's one of my favorites. We do love us a satanic cult. You know that I do, right? The Strange strange Vice of Senor Ward. Scorpion with Two Tails. Deep Red. Hmm. We could use some of this stuff. I love Italian film titles, Ryan. It's one of my favorite things in the entire Earth. In the entire Earth? Yeah. Wow. Gotta love them. It's such a like a thing that there is a do-it-yourself Jello <laughs> um, movie title generator. Really? <laughs> yeah. The do-it-yourself Jello kid. <laughs> a torn photo in an eagle's talons. <laughs> the madman laughs in a silver casket. Sometimes I wish these were movies. Three dead on a marble monument. <laughs> a black widow spider with one red eye. <laughs> White cat with eyes of ice. God, these are perfect. <laughs> Love is a cruel shadow that stands at the center of the ever-widening pool of red. <laughs> <laughs> that is too much. <laughs> the poor people... <laughs> Sorry. The poor people have all left here for the mountains to the north. There they've built a town. <laughs> a black widow spider with a woman's hands. <laughs> It also gives you plot synopses, by the way. Oh, man. It's the best thing ever. Ah. <sighs> Bunch of liars up in Zozo. Never can trust them. Hmm. The poor people are liars, right? Yeah. Lights out? <laughs> that's, that's how you... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Lights out! It only cost you 250 250 She paid your life! <laughs> I'm, these walls... Very, mm -hmm. very crandled. They are. And nooked. Ryan, Django, Django Kill, If You Live, Shoot, has to be one of the weirder westerns that I've ever seen. It's just a forged. Hmm. Okay. You can get the Kaiser for your boy. Your fight boy. Yeah. You get one of these. It includes a gang of uniformly dressed in black embroidered cowboy outfits like it implied to be homosexual cowboy gang um <laughs> a mad priest in the beginning it opens with the hero rising from the dead with flashbacks of his own murder 
Dope. And the town kind of has this, like, sense of being purgatory. I want to be an opera singer when I grow up. Opera house. It's far to the south. Even farther? There is a southern there. continent, right? Oh, or are we does, on that continent? Does it have a separate map? That I don't know. Whoa, Charlie. Oh, okay. Peace ring. Berserk and muddle. Cashel. Cash safe. We could just buy earrings now. Which is really cool. Oh. That's what our good buddy Shadow has. I haven't looked at the relics in a while. We probably don't have them optimally equipped. Well, maybe we do. So earrings make Celeste a total nuker. It's true. But she has no MP right now. I should probably, like, rest. Spend the 250. You should spend what the 250. The cast safe, right? Oh, no, that was what you had. Mm -hmm. You, like, can't read it. That's so silly. Raises fight damage. Oh. Oh, like that. Like, <laughs> so, like, like a throne man. The only thing is... Well, yes. Sabin is always using Blitz, so he's True. not using Fight. And Good point. Neither is Edgar. Yeah, Edgar is always using Tools and Auto Crossbow. So I guess it's, of the party, he's probably the best one for it. He's so, probably most likely to attack, if ever. Yeah. But I doubt it's relevant very often, like unless it's like a boss fight, maybe. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet we have two people using Sprint Shoes. We do. Alright, I'll leave them on that boy. Okay. That yeah. boy. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Alright, so we'll give him... What is Hyper Wrist? Okay. Yeah, so this is the good combo, because I mean, Sabin just jumps in front, and he has a lot of HP yeah. to be able to help. cool. Edgar uh, has... Yeah, Jewel Ring cannot possibly be the best thing. What is Jewel Ring? Dark and Petrify, yeah. Dork and Idiot, more like. Alright. Yeah. Let's see. SR Flex seems good. But it does it automatically, which means you can't cure him. Oh, anymore. right. I think Maybe just do a show. Or, I don't know. Probably, if I can buy the one that gives him protect. Yeah, I might as well do that. 